Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm going to be keeping this introduction short and sweet, which I know is very unusual for me, but I'm going to be getting to the yard as early as I can this morning so I can use my pivo so we can all watch me ride without having somebody filming me personally. Um, the problem with the pivo is it picks up any horse that goes around it, so I'm hoping to get to the yard early enough before anybody else is riding and manage to get some footage of myself this morning. And we're also going to be wearing some new Lumbier colours today. I've got the watermelon on underneath, so Ringo will also be in his watermelon saddle pad. Um, I wanted to get some photos in them first, but actually he was bath yesterday and I've asked the girls to leave him in this morning just so I'd have to go and get him from the field so he's nice and clean. So he's not going to get like a saddle pad dirty before photos this week. Um, so yeah, we're going to be all in the spring colours. The sun's shining. I'm riding today. I rode yesterday as well um, and I'm going to be riding a little bit harder today because I think there's going to be like another storm tomorrow and the day after. Um, so we can have two days off. Um, and then regardless of rain or shine on the Wednesday, I'm going to have to ride because I've got a show in two weeks. Well, actually, under two weeks now, in 13, 12, 12 13 days. Um, so, yes, training has to continue, rain or shine, <laughs> which is a little bit unfortunate and a little bit depressing, but never mind. So on that note, guys, I will see you at the yard. Superman this morning. <laughs> Here he is. Oh. Superman horse, right. Come on, come on. Let's take it all off. Let's strip you. You clean today, you look clean. Do you feel better being clean than that? You go, why am I not getting in the field? I can have a no step muffins until after us. We know this. We know this. No <laughs> loose step muffins until after. Oh, I mean, oh, it's a hard life, isn't it? Okay. Is it really good? Is it really good? Is it really good? Is it yesterday and that was quite hot and then I was bath mom. Oh, I need to get into it. won't eat today. Yeah, you know, we know we're in the face. Oh, 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 that's a good plan then. I thought that out this morning. I was expecting no brushing or maintenance today, but that hair is... That's the worst I've actually seen it, Dingo, in a while. Look at it. <laughs> I'm trying to zoom in. Nice. <laughs> right, let's sort out the bush. Oh, you look at it Darling, look at this. This is awful. Problem is, guys, as you keep shaking, <laughs> just let me show you it from the front, and it's just not sitting right. <laughs> like, this is what Ringo looks like today. <laughs> I am so sorry, Ringo. This is actually, this is that is abuse. <laughs> it is abuse to put you on camera looking like this.
After riding, he's saying hello to all of his friends in the fields. <laughs> oh, bless him. He's saying hello to your friends. Oh, so you don't go for a trot then after you've been turned out. You just go for a little walk. I'm surprised he's not rolled yet. I think it's coming. He's going for a little poo sniff first. All of his own poos, first of all. <laughs> he's saying hello to all the friends over that side. Dingo! Oh. So guys, I have now ridden, I'm hoping you can see me, I can't actually see because the sun is right in my eyes. I injured my arm yesterday, it started hurting at about 9 o'clock last night. I think it's like, I kind of googled what it could be and I think it's tendonitis here. So I've obviously pulled something in my tendon there. Um, I don't know whether it was bathing him yesterday or doing, I went shopping, I went for a food shop on the way home, so maybe I like lifted a bag wrong, I don't know. Um, so he was a little bit stiff to ride today. And when he's stiff, he's stiff in his right rein, which typically is my bad arm. I tried as much as I could to kind of soften, soften him on that rein. Um, but the pain I was in made it a little bit more difficult so I did as much as I could today and then thought we'll kind of leave it on a good note as much of a good note as we can um because I've still got two weeks um to just really soften him he's been going so softly on that right rein and it's been well he obviously had like he didn't have a week off with the storms but he had a week off like hard work I was just kind of moving in stretching sessions which I thought would have helped him but he kind of almost then forgot how to go correctly and how he was going which is why I think even if it's really rainy and horrible this week I'm just going to have to continue going oh he is rolling now um I'm just going to have to continue going um because otherwise it's let like one step forward and a hundred steps back which I found out this weekend when bringing him kind of back into full-on work in prep for the show oh see this I've been wondering how he gets so filthy under his rug are we ready because he literally, oh, he's not done it now, but he gets the rug up over his bum and um, he's just been having thick mud on his bum and I've now just seen how he does it. The butter! You only had a bath yesterday, you're going to be filthy again. Yes, I know you don't care, but I do. <laughs> he's having his grass now. Um, put me back up. There we go. Um, I'm guessing you guys can see me there. Maybe I need to stand back a bit better i can't see a thing <laughs> um so yes that is why i uh, i'm gonna just have to so rain or shine storms or winds this week we're just going to have to ride through it, even if it's on like 20 minutes stints um because i just i've taken so long to book rebook a comp i've taken so long to book a competition so if you're new here basically i haven't com basically i haven't competed in four years me or ringo haven't competed in four years um just because i've been intermittently riding over the last four years due to different reasons and circumstances but Ringo has now been back in work for about nine months now um, as in full up like he never kind of went out of work but he was just being ridden like once a week as like a happy hacker really with me um, so he's kind of only been back into like full on work and I've only been back into like full on riding for like the last nine months and it is surprising how much you forget and how much training is involved to kind of get back to where you were before it's actually it is like riding a bike in that you kind of remember the basics but it isn't like riding a bike where actually it's so much more complicated and it takes takes so long even to just get your position back and to remember like everything basically um, so even though 
So within that last nine months, I haven't booked a competition and I've been, I'm a very impatient person, but I've been extremely patient because I feel like I'm definitely, especially the older I've got, much more of a perfectionist and I want everything to be perfect. One day we were schooling in the arena and something just clicked and even though, he's been, even though he's been going consistently well for a really long time, this particular like training session, it was just different and it was just amazing. And I got off literally beaming and I thought to myself, if I don't book a competition right here and right now, it's going to be another nine months and I still won't have do it. I still wouldn't have booked it. And I think it was one of those things where you just have to bite the bullet sometimes and just do it and then have a goal to work towards. Um, so for the first week and a half after booking the competition, amazing, he was going insane. I mean, he's still going amazingly now, um, but not like when he was going like two weeks ago because then Storm Eunice arrived and it's been very difficult to ride and, you know, keep everything ticking over when the weather has just been disgusting. Next winter, we're going to have the indoor arena, so everything's going to be so much different, so different, sorry. But when you're working outside in weather like, you know, we've had, it's, it's, just, it's just a little bit more complicated. Um, so with that being said, I've got two weeks to re-perfect it and I think I'm putting a little bit more pressure on both of us which I think I need to just kind of take a deep breath and calm down um, and stop getting worried uptight and anxious when it doesn't kind of go my way because at the end of the day I'm a human being he's a living being and we all have good days and we all have bad days we all have stiffer days like he was a lot, stiff, lot stiffer today because obviously he hadn't been out first um, so obviously that makes a difference he's 15 this year so again he's older and he's going to be a lot tighter and he's got such a big and dense neck which gets bigger the more work he's in because it's muscle it's not actually fat it's just muscle um, and with him being tight anyway controlling this neck he is so strong <laughs> like he really is but I've been so so um but I've been working so hard to get him really soft and actually to be fair he is so much softer uh, than what he was and he was actually a couple of weeks ago as I say the softest ever like it was literally like moving a feather um but he has tightened up where he hasn't been in consistent work. Not consistent work, but you know, consistent like hard work over the last few weeks with the weather. Um, so again, it is just taking those few steps back and having to work doubly hard now within two weeks, which I'm, I'm gonna do it, let's be honest, I'm gonna do it. I'm a winner, I'm not a quitter. Um, he's not a quitter either and we will do it. We've got a couple of lessons booked in before as well. Um, my mum's gonna come up this week because my mum is very good at, so my mum always trained me when I was little and even though she's not the nicest of trainers, um, when I was younger I used to have like whips thrown at me and the poop scooper if I wasn't doing my up downs right I struggled for years to get the right leg when I was younger I was actually known as wrong leg and we had friends with ponies that could not get the wrong leg and they said oh you won't be able to get the wrong leg on this I managed to get the wrong leg on that horse and it took me years um as a first ridden rider to learn how to get the right cantilever, which obviously rubbed my mum up the complete wrong way. Um, so she was never the nicest of teachers to anybody. However, she is so good at nitpicking and it, her teaching has made me the rider I am today. Um, and so she's fantastic on position and she's fantastic on picking up little things that a lot of instructors wouldn't pick up on. So she's maybe not the best on, you know, progressing up the levels. I would say she's probably like, but maybe one of the best teachers you could find up until novice level or like you know the higher end of novice going into elementary because she doesn't know the technicalities of different movements but in terms of the basics she is the best um so i've got her coming up to the yard hopefully this week depending on the weather um just to just basically to fine tune me and then the week before the friday before our competition which is on the sunday lesson with mark mark hallian who basically owns and runs the yard here he is our show jumping trainer but he's also a but he's also amazing on the ground um so we're going to move all the jumps out of the arena put the whiteboards around and he's going to give me um, a lesson and run me through both of my tests um, so again that's just going to fine-tune both of us and obviously run through the test um, and get everything kind of hopefully ticking over by that point and ready for the competition and on that note guys I'm going to stop rambling because I feel like I've been rambling for a very long time hoping you can hear me because it's actually very very windy out here um, I really hope you enjoyed this video I'm hoping that the pivot worked and that when I look back I actually have some footage that is usable um, I haven't used it here since I actually haven't used it I think I've, well, I've only actually used it twice but I haven't used it since last like August I think it was um, but it definitely worked getting here nice and early in the morning um, it meant that I can use my pivot and now get back to filming myself while I ride so there's better content on my videos which I'm sure has been quite tedious just con just continuously watching me tack up and not actually seeing the training it's just so difficult when the weather is disgusting and I haven't got an indoor arena or people to help me during the week however now we have some sunshine and hoping for some more sunshine to continue I can now start using my pivot again getting here nice and early and filming for you guys it's some really exciting content 
moment. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, click the like button if you did enjoy this video. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.